whooping cough. It's a bacterial infection that's risen to epidemic levels in some parts of the U.S. In adults, the symptoms can be mild, but if the infection is spread to a baby who hasn't yet received a full course of vaccinations, whooping cough can be very serious. Here's more on how to handle this disease. Are you being shy? 21-month-old Pedro mm -hmm. Esqueda's symptoms started out like those of a typical cold. He had a little runny nose and started having a little cough. But over the next four to five days, Pedro's mom, Chelsea, says the cough got much worse. It was nothing I've ever heard before. He was coughing and doing the whoop. He'd vomit. And he couldn't catch his breath. When they took Pedro to the doctor, the coughing had subsided, so they figured maybe it was just a cold or some other infection. But Chelsea knew there was something else wrong. So the next time Pedro had a coughing fit, her husband got it on video. A nurse practitioner saw it and diagnosed it right away. And she saw it, she goes, that's pertussis. Whooping cough is also known as pertussis. It's caused by a bacteria infection that is spread uh, from one person with whooping cough to another person. What is he doing? Dr. Thomas Boyce <laughs> says whooping cough is particularly tough on kids younger than Pedro, who oh, haven't had the full course of vaccinations okay. given at two, four, and six months. Well, they're particularly susceptible to um, getting infection, and because of their small airway, they're particularly uh, susceptible to having very severe disease. You see, the infection happens in the airway or trachea. The pertussis bacteria produce toxins that irritate and inflame the airway. This causes the severe, repeated cough that lasts for months. So they call it the 100-day cough. Pedro and his entire family took antibiotics to treat the infection and prevent further spread. Now he's back to health after months of illness. Dr. Boyce says babies usually get whooping cough from adults who have a mild infection. He says that's why it's important for adults to get booster vaccinations every 10 years. Ask your doctor for the tetanus diphtheria shot that also includes a pertussis booster. For Medical Edge, I'm Vivian Williams.